Yes, family, we are here in Casablanca and we are ready to set off this beautiful Casablanca tour. Beautiful architecture, and this kind of reminds me of being in Ethiopia where you just see beautiful historical structures. So, our tour guide is going to give us an in depth view and presentation. Hey, Atari, can you all, uh, some of us are a little slow, I just want us to roll together. And, uh, and when you start explaining everything, I want them to all get. We will do that inside because we need to enter before they close the door. Before. All right, come on. Uh, come on, let's let's move, let's make it uh, fast before the doors get closed. Mr. Bomani, you ready? You love the you love the energy. You tired? Okay. He's excited. This is his last day on tour, and he's been great. Thank you, son. Yeah, I bother you. No, I can't see the sun. The sun. Maybe you need a little glasses. Uh, we're gonna get inside, so it will be nice. I mean, this place is a huge family, this a big open space. Casablanca, it has a mixture of modern and living finish. Look, so this, look, this look blue. This mosque, it's 30 years old. I will tell you everything. And that is the difference. Maintenance, a key word. That is in, it seems like maintenance is in the culture. But yeah. he also said there's other cities that look like we went back in time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think they preserve those historically, but they still look like yes. they're maintained. Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course, they preserve them very well, but when you see them, you feel like they are old. Casablanca, if you, when you see it, you know it's a new city, it's a modern city. This mosque we are visiting, it's the highlight of Casablanca, it's the main monument. And it's the third largest mosque in the world. This, as you can see, it's built on the water. What you see over there is the Atlantic Ocean. The king Hassan II, when he wanted to build the mosque, he wanted to build it on the water as inspiration from the Quran. We have a verse in the Quran that says, which, mean, which means God's throne was built on the, on the water. So he built it on the water as, a, as an inspiration from the Quran. So would that go with the scripture where it says that the, the Lord voices upon many waters? What's that? In the in the in the in the in the Christian yeah. Bible, yeah. it's a scripture where it says that the Lord voice is upon many waters. So is that where that foundation comes from? Uh, no, for uh, for us, since we are Muslim uh -huh. people here, it's a Muslim country, we got inspired from the Quran. In the Quran, we have a verse, a verse that says, "God's throne is built upon the water." And this, since the mosque is a holy place, it's a, uh, uh, it's a, like a God's house. Yeah. He wanted to build it on the water uh, after this verse.
Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's beautiful. And while I'm recording and shooting pictures at the same time, because family, these images are incredible.